Hi everyone, welcome to the great subway race. I'm Dan Patrick, your host and your referee. This course sets up really difficult for our challengers. They have to start out upstairs, they have to race downstairs, they have to go into the subway, they have to order a foot long sandwich and a vitamin water drink. Then they have to race back up here. Three of the Danettes have already been officially timed. Poor play calling kills. Fritzy found that out after lining up for a six inch when he needed to go for a foot long. Six inch, six inch, you're not forgetting a foot long. That's time he's never going to get back. He's going to the bottom of the standings to show for it. Oh, a vocal seat and rips through the line, spins for the handoff. But even with the fancy footwork, penalties took this one back. Boom, got it. That, that's not a meal. Where's the vitamin water? And perhaps the feel-good story of the whole race. Paulie's intense food-based training came into play here, and he sits atop the leaderboard by a commanding 37 seconds because of it. And then there was one. The pride of Lower Marion High School, suburban Philadelphia. They call him Andrew McLovin Perloff the third. Ready, set, go! The thing you have to remember with McLovin is sandwich intelligence. Let's see how it plays into the play call. Ah, the age-old dilemma, tuna or turkey? Recent analytics show that tuna is the most efficient sandwich, so I will have that today, please. He's all alone. Nobody can stop him. Oh, flawless technique. Now for the finish. Why, thank you. He's done it, he's done it, it's a new world record. Unbelievable, of all the great moments I've been around, this one ranks at the top. Andrew McLovin, Perloff the third, the winner of the great subway race. Yay! Time-honored tradition, the vitamin water bath, truly a day the sports world will never forget.